recipe this week on Eat and Be Eaten is a sweet potato side dish called Coelho Palau. You make it by combining purple Okinawan sweet potatoes with coconut milk. Essentially what you're doing is creating a potato mash or a potato puree and you can use it the same way. Pairs well with fish, pairs well with beef, pork. Okay, so what chef's techniques can we learn by making this dish? It's the same as making any really great mashed potato. First of all, cut them into chunks, boil them in water until they're soft, and then the key is to use what's called a potato ricer. It pushes the potatoes in little strands through, and it creates a much lighter, fluffier, more silky end result than you would get if you just mashed them up with an implement and tried to do it without the ricer. If you look up a list of the healthiest foods in the world, Purple Okinawan sweet potato is going to be on there. Actually, Okinawa, which is an island in the south of Japan, is one of the blue zones where the people are the longest lived in the world, and their diet consists largely of Okinawan sweet potatoes. So they're also very popular here in Hawaii, and the combination of the purple sweet potato with the coconut milk creates a really rich, velvety, kind of silky uh, texture, and also the flavor is very almost fruity in a way. Personally, I like to use a little bit of lime zest and also sometimes some uh, Hawaiian chili flakes to work into the puree or the mash, and that just adds a little bit of zip, a little bit of brightness over the top. Potatoes grow really well here in Hawaii. They're easy to harvest. It's a lot of fun. It's like a scavenger hunt, digging around with a fork to see where the potatoes are going to be in the soil. They're one of the canoe plants, so one of the original plants that the Hawaiians brought over in the va'a, or the canoe. They are extremely nutritious, they're tasty, they work great if you bake them in the oven, or doing them like a mash like this, or any number of ways. It's also very popular to do this dish as a dessert version by using condensed milk, which makes it really sweet, and then it's like a dessert pudding. And if you're going to make a dessert pudding, you might even want to add more coconut milk to make the consistency a little bit more runny. Click the link right here. We've got a whole playlist of Hawaii recipes, either dishes that are from Hawaii or are done Hawaiian style. You can also subscribe to our channel for playlists about us out in the field hunting and fishing type stuff. We also do permaculture here in the orchard. So if you want to see any of that, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you next time. Aloha.